guys, it's Debbie J with Debbie J's Crafting Corner here on the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a fun light up card using the Easy Lights from Pear Blossom Press. Plan on also using her, yeah, what is this called? <laughs> This is a bunch of little lights, uh, uh, sorry, a bunch of little stamps that are perfect to go along with your light up cards. We've got push, pull, remove, press, all the fun things so that people know what to do, right? Then I'm also going to be using a stamp and die set from Catherine Pooler. It's the This Calls for Champagne stamp set. That one I think is super fun. And of course, I will be using the world's best foam tape from Pear Blossom Press. So after stamping, embossing, and coloring in all of the little images for these little bottles and their um, glasses, and those little quartz, oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't notice that they were on there before. Anyhow, I'm going to die cut each of these out. Not sure what all I'm going to be using on the card. I may use all. I may use part of it. If I don't use all of the little images, that's no problem because I can always make another card, right? So I cut out a piece, actually, yeah, this is one of the arches. This is from a Spellbinders die set. And I'm kind of wanting that to be where I'm going to put all of my things together and pop it up. And it's going to basically be one center piece that I'll be able to adhere, adhere down onto my card. I picked out which of the pieces I think I'm going to use. And now I kind of want to test a little bit. So I've got one of the battery packs in my Easy Like set. It came with five, including ba the batteries. I'm going to pop the battery in on the correct side and then when you press the button it's gonna light up so I always like to test everything first so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position everything down and with a pencil uh, decide exactly where I want my lights so I've kind of got an idea I think I want to have my two stems up at the top and then the little shorter one down at the bottom and this is basically gonna just look like a little party okay so let's place the light at the base of my glass. So I'll put one here and then one here and then one here. And I figure I will use this guy to be around where my button's gonna be. Okay, so next we're going to just using a pokey tool, I'm gonna poke a hole through each of those little dots. And this probably would be easier if I had a foam pad here to poke it through with, but I don't have one handy. So anyway, I will remember that for next time. So now I'm just going to adhere my little lights down on the back of these, this panel, just using some tape. So I'm just grabbing some scotch tape, nothing fancy. And we're going to just adhere them down again with the the lump part, which is the LED, pointing out towards the front of the card, so pointing down on my car on my desk here. There we go. There we go. And now, of course, I have to test it again. And that I think turns out perfect. So for the rest of this, I'm going to basically be tying all of the rest of this up. I'm just gonna wind all of my wires up so that they're going to be up and out of the way and then I can tape them down. Oh, 
I'm taping that one down just for a moment to, so I have time to get everything else up and out of the way. I don't want any of it hanging off the side of my card here. Okay, so now all of the wires are hidden. And then I'm going to adhere my little button down using some strong double-sided adhesive. So now I can start putting my card together. The panel I actually made a little while back, it's some, one of those many things that are sitting in my stash. This one was a stencil that I made using Simon Hurley solar paste because I was trying it out and a crafty Meraki stencil and I think it turned out super, super pretty. So this is kind of the plan. I'm gonna have that in the center. Let's go ahead and add our little bottles to this. I'm just gonna use some liquid glue for that part. It's going to be actually before I do that let's get out some of the foam tape because I need to make sure that this is popped up from the back and that we have enough room for our little mechanism there right so and since the since everything is poked through the holes already I don't really have to worry too much about avoiding those little You don't have to worry about avoiding the lights. So one of the great things about this foam tape is that it is repositionable. You saw me moving it around a little bit. You can't really do that with regular foam tape because you know what's going to happen? It's going to tear everything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add all my bits on here. And then, of course, I need to, I need to put a button. I need to put something saying what I need the person to do and where, right? Okay, so I'm just going to place this right down and of course I'm going to test all along the way because yeah, I love it. Uh, this first one I'm going to have kind of hanging off the edge a little bit. I'm just going to put the dot right there at the base. There we go. I like that. That's going to be so cute. Do the same kind of thing with this second one. And then we have our shorter martini style glass. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna go ahead and stamp out one of our push stamps. So I stamped out a press here and thought the camera was rolling and it wasn't and did a quick heat embossing on there. This is the first time I've attempted to do heat embossing after I put everything together like this. So it worked out fine. It did not warp my card or anything. So I think that that is perfect. Now I can finish up putting things on my final. So I've already got that panel down. So I just need to put this guy on there and then add any of the extras I want to add, like all those cute little corks and our pop the bubbly sentiment. I did stamp and heat emboss and fussy cut those guys out too. So I've got three of them um, just in case I had one that messed up. Plus that also means that I can at any point make another one. I've already got the sentiment ready. So let's go ahead and place that down right in the center there. And it does still light up. Perfect. And then I'll just add one of my pop the bubblies up and then I can add those little quirks. <laughs> this is cute. I think that this is going to be actually I think I'm going to put I may put I don't know thing about putting one of my glasses in the that would go good up there. Could also add one of the other bottles. I 
guess I'll leave that. It's kind of where I'm just still thinking and that's kind of how the process goes. Always decide, do I want to add anything extra? Am I good? Is the card done? Because sometimes you can't really tell if the card is actually done, right? Let's glue down some of these and that's going to finish up the card. And that is done. That is going to finish up this light up card using some fun products from Pear Blossom Press. Plus some of my, the stuff I already had in my stash from Crafty Meraki, Spellbinders, and Catherine Pooler. Oh, and of course, Simon Hurley for that shine in the background. So you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to check out the playlist down below for some more fun videos. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.